In this video, I'll go over the top five worst advice I've seen being given to people who are getting started on their data science journey. And these wrong advices have caused a lot of confusion, misconceptions, and have impacted people's professional growth in the industry. If you don't know me, my name is Anwar, and I've been working as a staff data scientist for some of the big tech companies like Meta, Cisco, and Wells Fargo for the last 15 years. And in this video, I'll share what my thoughts are on these misconceptions based on all these years of experience. The first wrong advice which I've seen given to a lot of people is that they should try to master every skill they need to learn for data science. And when you look at all the skill sets which are needed for data science, they are actually a lot. You need to know a good amount of programming, for example, Python or any other programming you are using. You need to know SQL, you need to know databases, you need to know statistics, you need to know machine learning concepts. And then there's data warehousing, cloud platforms, and much more to learn. And the issue is that each of these skills, for example, programming or cloud computing or machine learning algorithms are such a vast and deep fields in their own right that you can easily spend a decade trying to learn and master these. So if the expectation from a newcomer that they should learn all of these in full depth that is just an impossibility. So my suggestion to anyone who is getting started learning data science would be that instead of just going deep into each of these verticals, you should oscillate between these. So learn a bit of programming, then SQL, then machine learning concepts, and so on and so forth, and try to see that how all of these components fit together to form a machine learning or data science project pipeline. And once you have implemented it, then try to go a little bit deep in each of these. And with passage of time, try to develop your expertise in all these verticals instead of trying to master one vertical first and then trying to move to the other one. Because the odds are that if you try to master one of the vertical, that will just take you forever and you'll very soon become frustrated and quit. I have made the same mistake in my own professional life where I have spent three to four months just trying to go deep into linear algebra or some concept of statistics. But looking back, I don't think that was a very wise investment of my time. And my time could have been much better served if I would have just gone one level deep in each iteration as I'm going to learn all these different components. The second worst advice which I've seen circulating a lot recently is that a lot of people are trying to become data scientists or machine learning engineers without trying to learn code first. And there are a lot of nice looking interfaces emerging, which are giving an impression that you can just use them for end-to-end -end data science projects. Even cloud platforms like GCP and AWS offer some in-house ML pipelines which you can build in the platform without using much code. And this is giving a lot of people an impression that they can become a successful data scientist without fully trying to learn any programming language first. And this misconception does a lot of damage to the newcomers because you can spend a lot of time trying to learn these no code data science tools. And after five to six months, you'll realize that you have to learn some programming to become a data scientist. And the reason is very simple. First, you cannot get as much control on what you want to do without having a programmatic interface around whatever machine learning library you are using. And second is not all of these tools integrate very properly in your company's organizational design. And the third reason is that in every data science interview, you'll be asked some programming challenges. So if you do not know programming, your odds of getting hired are very, very slim. So my advice would be that if you are planning to become a data scientist, and this is an industry in which you want to spend at least next five to 10 years, then spend some months trying to learn some programming language preferably Python, because by learning Python and some of the machine learning and data science related libraries, that will open up a lot of pathways for you in which you can try a lot of algorithms, a lot of data analysis, which is just not possible if you try to use some UI tool. The third misconception which I've seen people coming across, especially recently, is that they try to learn the catchy new data science stuff first, totally ignoring the foundations of data science and machine learning. For example, with the recent advancements in Gen AI, a lot of people are trying to learn LLMs and the different libraries which let you use that. And then they're trying to see, okay, how does transformers work? 
but the issue is that you cannot fully understand how transformers work and to learn deep learning you need to know at a very intuitive level how does logistic regression work how does linear regression work so if you ignore this foundational work and try to learn transformers and llms that will be very shallow knowledge and you won't be able to fully grasp it till you go back and learn the foundations that is the reason every mature and good interviewer i've come across they don't ask you super fancy questions like how does a transformer work or what is the methodology of a bird model they go to the basics and foundations and challenge you on your knowledge of linear regression for example and they make sure that you understand the concepts at a very intuitive level on these foundational concepts because if you fully understand these foundational concepts then learning all these latest technologies should not be a big deal for you so whatever vertical you are trying to explore make sure that you build a solid foundation of it first and then move towards getting some advanced knowledge and it is as much applicable to learning sql and python and cloud computing and for machine learning concepts the fourth misconception which i've seen a lot of newbie data scientists come across is that they undermine the importance of good communication data science is a very technical skill and what i've seen per my experience is that a lot of people who just naturally gravitate towards learning data science they are very shy and introvert in nature and on top of that there is this mindset that being a technical person we do not really have to be active in terms of communication as our job is just to sit on the computer and try to apply that fancy algorithms on the data but this is very far from truth because communication is perhaps the number one skill every data scientist should have and this applies as much to an entry level intern as much as a staff or senior staff data scientist because if you look at the life cycle of every data science project it starts with communication with the business to understand what the business problem is and it ends again with a lot of communication with the business stakeholders where you're trying to communicate how your technical solution will help them solve that business problem and even within there is a lot of back and forth so in my experience a data scientist who is 8 out of 10 on technical knowledge or but 4 out of 10 on communication will grow professionally much slower as compared to another data scientist who is 4 out of 10 in terms of technical knowledge but 8 out of 10 in terms of communication so my advice would be that you should try to prioritize your communication skills it could be your verbal communication your written communication and most importantly your data storytelling skills and try to prioritize this learning as soon as you land your first job the fifth misconception which i've seen a lot of people do is that they try to start with the tool they want to use and then try to find the business problem that tool can solve and though this might sound like childish i've seen this attitude very prevalent from the very junior ranks all the way to the executive levels whenever we see a new shining technology emerging it could be deep learning or gen ai or whatever so there is a lot of tendency for people trying to find the business use cases where they can implement this technical skill for example when chat gpt came a lot of people in the companies started looking for use cases where they can use these llms but i think this is fundamentally a wrong approach because anytime you start with a tool and then trying to see where you can use it usually leads to ineffective and unoptimal results you've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology you can't start with the technology and try to figure out where you're going to try to sell it and i've made this mistake probably more than anybody else in this room and i've got the scar tissue to prove it and i know that it's the case a better approach is that you start with a business problem and then try to see what are the tool sets needed to solve that business problem and it might sound like a very subtle problem but it leads to huge impacts because when you're starting with a tool and then trying to find the business problem you can solve it with it is equivalent of starting with a key and then trying to see what lock you can open with that key a much better approach is that first you identify what are the locks you want to open and then trying to find the keys for those and you'll be surprised that for a lot of very impactful business problems the solutions do not require very fancy technical skills if you like the video this far i've created a separate video where i've shared some advice based on my 15 years in the tech industry please check it out i'm pretty sure you'll like it thank you so much for watching